Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to play with the Erga Shem. And you know what is the reason why? I was searching for a tanks I haven't played in a long time or dedicated a video for a long time. And I figured it out Ergashem is one of those. And you know what is the weirdest part of all this? That Ergashem is one of the most popular tanks uh, in the game. I'm not even joking. Watch this. Those are the tier A tank stats and the most played um, uh, the most played vehicles. And Ergashem has 2.7 million plays in 60 days. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. And you know what? Uh, this is weird because, well, I know the tank is good, okay? I do not look into this vehicle as the worst tank in the world of tanks by any shape or any form. Um, but I did not expect to see Ergashem one of the most successful vehicles, to be fair with you. Or one of the community favorites, right? For me, fellas, yeah, sure, this tank made into the list of my favorite tier 8 tech 3 tank shirting. Um, and for me, you know, it is it is quite alright tank and everything, but still, to be number one most played tech 3 tank in the tier 8, uh, that is quite a reward, fellas. So, I came to the conclusion that this could happen because the tank has a great penetration, the tank has a great gun, and maybe some free-to-play players are farming this vehicle uh, for credits or something, I do not even know, you know, what, uh, what nowadays free-to-play players are playing. Um, so that is quite weird stuff, right? But I really wanted to mention this. And I believe for a next week, I kind of want to cover the tanks I haven't played for a couple of years um, to dedicate the video. Or let's say the last video was in the start of 2022 20, or something like this, right? To refresh, to refresh our opinion about the tank and simply to have some fun in the same time, right? Because in my humble opinion, there is plenty of the hidden gems speaking about the... Um, lower tier gameplay, by the way, I loaded high explosives, I do not know how, but uh, that was planned because I thought if I will track him, our M4 Alpha 1 is going to kill him and we are going to be victorious. How about that? Skill, nice idea to justify your noobness. Thank you, fellas, thank you. I tried to do my best, I truly did. And I am surprised it worked that well. Okay. Now... We talked about the gun of this tank and the gun is absolutely glorious, the gun is absolutely gorgeous. You know what is not gorgeous? Armor and speed. I've seen people playing with um, with the turbochargers for this tank um, just to make it less um, shitty in a way for a relocation because it's hip hip hooray whenever you are sniping from the back and you do not need to do anything but there is situations when you cannot snipe from the back when you actually need to get involved into the game and whenever those situations are coming this speed is simply it doesn't cut okay it just simply doesn't cut you can look at it you can say whatever you want it just it is just not doing the lifting which uh, which you need so yeah, let's see. Trukst, beautiful. Very, very nice. Let's see what we can do now. Su 100 I is our next target, fellas. We are going for him. Look at this beauty. I think we are playing well and I think we are playing as good as we can physically and possibly play in this game. You know, considering that our team is just simply winning uh, easily. And what I noticed nowadays, whenever you are playing with a paper tin tank destroyers, I noticed it is significantly harder to get better score than maybe three years back or something. Because games are so quick. If you are not realizing in time that your team is just simply winning the game, it's game over for you. And even if you realize that, as an example, you are playing with a Erga Shem, you know, you realize that your, your team is taking one for the team and you realize that your team is melting and whatnot. You simply might not have enough time um, to still get into the front lines, right? It's just how it goes. That is World of Tanks for you. Huh, what a weird play. He escaped me and he went in front of the three other tanks. Well, that's what I call paranoia. Okay. 
I mean, he could hit me twice, probably, but he made a decision to uh, to run away from um, from the beer or from the one wolf. Maybe this is the right description. Okay, let's see. Can we get a bit more use? Once again, this is the game whenever we need to find the keyboard with this tank. And this is not ideal speaking about uh, situation. The best case scenario is when your team is kind of uh, kaku. Right? When your team is not playing that well, then you can actually start farming, you know? Then you are having the best time of your life. If your team is very powerful, it is significantly um, more complicated. But you know what? I think I am speaking too soon. I think we can push this to 5,000. Hopefully easily. Let's see. We are having an extremely good angle here. Now, if the CS44 or T34 um, 34 1 will try to make pressure, or UDS or um, 2S or IS2S, however you would call this tank, right? We can actually start spanking them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not exactly what I was looking for. I just hit the ally because he pushed the enemy in front. Well, I haven't seen this one coming. You know, it's not like our guy has done that on purpose to screw us over or something. It is just gaming situation and it happens once in a while. What can you do? Meanwhile, Udes is trying to run for his life, but I have a feeling he will fail doing so. Mr. Fluffy is sent to the garage. Absolutely glorious. How? <gasps> Look at this angle. Wow. Never knew about this. You see, I am telling you, you are playing this game and uh, you are learning. Plus, I have 200,000 games. I swear to Banana Lord, I never shot through the pipe. I never shot through the pipe, fellas. I believe this is going to be new for, uh, for many of you. Wow. That is a surprising one. You see, this is war this is how World of Tanks is surprising us in a way. Okay, our Caro needs to win this somehow. This is going to be a very hard game, fellas. Believe me or not, it is going to be a very, very hard game. And you know what? I think I was talking. Dub 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 our team is dub 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 dub. They are winning so easily. Dub 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 dub. And this is what I'm having. Listen, I am trying to predict what enemies are going to do here. So I want to believe that enemies are not going to make pressure for me here because I was spotted. So instead I am going to relocate somewhere here. And by playing in this position, I am hoping for enemies to make a silly goose mistake. This is a super important thing to say because I am afraid I am not going to get involved into this game uh, to win the battle. That is the problem, you know? And look, this is exactly what is happening. Okay, beautiful, very, very nice. Let's try to shoot this guy. Beautiful shot in the face and now we are trying to escape for our dear life. This is what we are doing. Unfortunately, he is hitting us, but it doesn't really change anything because he is dead. Now, CS44 is down to fartable, Udes is down to fartable, and uh, Lorraine is probably down to fartable. Now, this is the moment when we need to be very, very smart and we need to do the things properly. Udes is... I thought Udes is dead, but oh well, little did I knew. Oh, what a son of the banana. Uh, kind of sad thing. But you know what? I think I jinxed it. I was like, it's so easy to win. You know, victory, victory. Not enough time to do anything. Look at this. 4.5 thousand. I cannot complain about this. By the way, intuition is a killer of the tanks which has no armor. Whatever. Grille, Trash, Burn, Ergashem, Borshik, Scorpion, Su-130, um, PM. Whenever you are meeting the guy who knows what he is doing, you are doomed. Because they are going to simply spank you in the face with the high explosives. That's the thing. But look at this game. 5,000 damage, 620 assisting damage, beautiful game. Even though it is defeat, fellas, I feel like we played alright. Uh, and even though we could eliminate the Udes from the game, he was uh, in a bit luckier side to say that the least. And we made 49,000 profits. Thank you very much, Ergashem. We appreciate you. Let's go for seconds. Okay, fellas, and for a second game with Ergashem, we have uh, quite a matchmaking. In fact, bad matchmaking for us. Uh, we have a tier 10s 
and we have a map from here it is extremely hard to snipe so this is going to be a challenge in fact it's going to be that challenge i am even going to load a pcr ammunition what i want to do i want to make every single shot count right and there hashem obviously has faster um apcrs than ap's so let's try to make it work properly meanwhile i hope someone will spot crossing forces like this poor progetto now this is where this tank is shining right you are seeing the guys trying to make pressure for you or for your team and you are just saying hello for them this is exactly what you want to see and this is exactly what do you want to do fellas you want to have those kind of situations for a third game i will spoil this a bit for a third game you will see the game when um, enemies are simply not making mistakes and how to play with their Hashem and what kind of score you will get right and you will see a bit of the panic um, laugh attack as well which you will see in the third game anyways no mr progetto how are you doing come on er Hashem, you can hit shots like this don't be silly goose i know you can do this and you you know you can do this oh here you go you see you see this is exactly what i am talking about and this is exactly what we need no one more for a sake of love beautiful beautiful look at this accuracy that's what i am talking about this is the er Hashem which i know you know this is what this tank is capable of doing okay so in the open field aim 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 nah i'm taking all my words back this is not the tank which i know this is not the tank which i like this is uh, this is the tank which i love 576 in the face beautiful you see that's what i'm talking about now obviously jokes aside the rng has a big part of this uh, um of this vehicle or of any other tank you know if rng is saying yep you're going to hit well that means you are going to hit if rng is saying nine well then uh, that means better luck next time you know just how it goes that's rng for you okay I really like my position at this point because we have such a great angle to say hello for Mr. Centurion Action 10 and I can promise you that he is not going to enjoy this. Now, all we need to do, we need to wait until he will get spotted. This is the perfection, fellas. Speaking about this game, it is definitely perfection for us so far. We are not taking that much of the risks. Uh, but in the same time, we are getting uh, quite a good reward, to say that the least. By the way, our Leo is brave. Our Leo is brave. I can tell you that much. Let's go for a blind shot. You never know when you hit those. So I am just simply risking for the biscuit and I'm just trying to get a bit of the use for myself. I will go for a seconds as well. Oh, oh. impressive. Oh, what a shot that was. Oh, what a shot that was. You know what, fellas? That was very, very big surprise. Looks like I need to use my keyboard. I don't like to use my keyboard. But sometimes that's what I need to do. Okay, relocating. Hear me out. I do not really think our Leo is going to win the side. Neither I think Progetto will. So my goal and my main mission is to sit here and just to simply wait until they will make a bit of pressure. I think that is the most important and the best thing what we can do. Watch this. Nine in the face. Er Hashem, I just said some good things about you. I'm trying to make YouTube video here, okay? Oh, I get it. It's not premium tank. Well, as you see, this is not a premium tank. There is nothing to sell. Uh, so, unfortunately, party is over and hashtag never lucky. Now, for real, this tank is good, but, um, you know, in certain games, it's not like you are hitting 100% of your shots. Or maybe you are hitting, you are just not penetrating. That's the sad part. Okay, patience. Wait for it. We have some time. In fact, we have a lot of time. 
That's what we have. You know what? This uh, this Jack Panzer will push in front. I really doubt, fellas. Uh, there is even a tiny chance of this Jack Panzer not making pressure in front. Okay, I'm pretty sure he will. So what we are doing, we are just simply going to uh, be very, very, very passive, and we are going to wait for it. Oh, oh, Mister Jack Panzer, excuse me. What was that? Fellas, have you ever had a situation whenever you forgot to um, have a blind on, or I suppose to say net on? So um, into your uh, into your room you have uh, plenty of the uh, night bugs or however they are called. Whenever you are pretty much whenever they are reacting into the light or whatever. So this is the situation which we are having now. You will see more of this in in the third battle. Skill, how do you know what we are going to see in the third battle? Well, fellas, call me hacker. You need to trust me on this one. Okay, looking into this game, it doesn't look great for us, okay? It just simply doesn't look great. It doesn't change the fact we will try to do everything what is in our powers in order to make it work, nevertheless, right? What I'm waiting for, I'm waiting until this Type 61 or until uh, Jack Panzer will arrive here. Okay, excellent. This is what we are waiting for and this is what we are looking for. Am I X30? Oh come on, you are not going to pick against the Rasham. Come on, you will. What a shot that was, thank you. I did not saw the Atarta shooting towards me, but um, I was lucky enough to move at this point. I was just simply lucky enough to move. Okay, very good. There is a big chance we are actually capable of winning this game though. I know it sounds weird, but this is how it looks like. We have some trees in front of us. I will try to risk it for the biscuit. I might regret this, but I'm going for it. Look at that shot. Excellent. Excellent. This is how we are playing. We are being sneaky, sneaky, sneaky buggers. Another shot to Cupola. Sneaky buggers, fellas. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky buggers. This is our duty and this is our mission. Mm -hmm. Centurion is in the back. We are aware of that, but I don't really think I care about the Centurion. I care about this Jack Panzer significantly more. Oh, yeah, Art, I'm dead. Yeah, indeed I am. Beautiful game, nevertheless. 4.5 thousand damage and 100 assisting damage, that's fine. Um, I think we got as much as we physically and possibly could, and maybe possibly we have a blind shot as well. Okay, we are back, fellas. Unfortunately, with the defeat, enemies played very, very well, so there is nothing to say about this. But once again, we can be proud of our performance. 5.5 thousand damage, 100 assisting damage, I think we mastered it and I think we played very very well for this game, plus on top of that we kind of broke even and we uh, made a bit of the profits with the clan boosters available, let's go for a third game, shall we? Tier 8 matchmaking again, this is, this is good, we are chilling and we are booming, so what do we have? Uh, we have highway, I would say probably we have a winning spawn as well, so I think this is going to be a good game for us. So how we are starting our journey? We are starting our journey from somewhere um, in the middle of our deer and we will try to punish literally every single mother tracker who will try to be aggressive. And knowing this, ooh, hi, three, two, one, now. Oh, what a beautiful pre-aim, too bad RNG wasn't there. Or maybe RNG was there so we hit him, who knows. Anyways, not a damaging shot, sad, but what can you do? Now hear me out. This is the position where I want to sit in order to counter Mother Tracker who is going to play here, okay? 
and usually I am that mother trucker and I am politely cursing whenever someone is sitting where I am sitting now and I am thinking this is uh, how my um, inside voice sounds like right I am quite a bit disappointed when someone is spanking me over there and I am let's say um, let's say the least I am sad about that No. Let's see. Hmm. No one. Now this is a hit or miss strategy what we are doing here. The main reason why am I saying so is I am afraid that no one will make silly goose mistakes for us. And if no one is making silly goose mistakes, we are in the humongous trouble, fellas. We simply won't be able to get any use whatsoever for ourselves. But if we are digging a bit deeper, if we are digging a bit deeper, <laughs> maybe, maybe this line will push. If you are wondering what happened, <laughs> fellas, if you are wondering what happened, <laughs> I'm enjoying the game, fellas. I had too much of World of Tanks. Listen, I had my window open. It is the middle of the night whenever I am doing recording, and there is a bug which and <laughs> who managed to get in, right? And I saw him flying through my nose like this. <laughs> Anyways, preparing for a base defense, fellas. <laughs> preparing for a base defense. Very nice. Don't worry, Katita is going to get him. Uh, it is completely fine. Oh, that bug made my day, fellas. It truly did. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, very, very nice. I have no clue why people do not like bugs. They're beautiful creatures with wings, you know, flying wherever they want to. They're respecting your boundaries and everything, so I do not know why people do not like bugs overall. Okay, back on track, fellas. We had our fun, we enjoyed ourselves, and I'm sorry for the laughing attack, but sometimes it happens, okay? Sometimes it happens. Okay. What do we need to do? We need to prepare for them making pressure. And I have no doubts whatsoever they will. Now... I really do not want to get outspotted by the enemies for obvious reasons, right? There is two boards. If one of those boards will see me sitting here, it's already going to be bad. If we are going to have two boards sitting, then it's going to be even worse. Skill what you did. I, well, fellas, I felt my hand tickling a bit, so, you know, I, I just needed to raise it. Okay, let's see. And what to do now? And what to do now? So far, four minutes of nothing. The thing is, I do not want to play in the city aggressively. It is just simply way too... Um... <laughs> It is just not really worth it. It's way too risky. The risk is not worth the reward, you know? With the, in order to go into the city with a Borshek, you need to go um, with a Turbo and so on, so on. And then you can, you know, go in. But let's get real. Usually it is not the optimal choice and this is not what you want to do. What a game this is. Mm, can we fix the score? I really doubt it. I think this is going to be one of those games when... Uh, um, when the situation is going pretty much 10 to... Whatever, 15 to 3, and it's GG. You know, there is nothing what you can do about this. But to be fair with you, uh, maybe it is not the worst thing to show the game like this as a third battle. Just to... Just to show not everything is ideal and you cannot expect uh, uh, to be on top all the time, especially whenever you are playing with the tanks like this. I think that is very, very fair argument and I think it is uh, fair play and fair point. So th you are going to see this game as a third, um, as a third battle. 
And I really want to share that with you as well, you know, that not everything is ideal. Uh, you are not going to score all the time high. And, you know, you should not have the illusions that every single game is going to be 5,000 or something, right? I believe that is fear. Okay. Let's see. ISU is sitting here. And our guy said that Hashem is sitting around this area. Beautiful. Very, very nice. He missed his shot. But he happens for the best of us. And you know what? I have a feeling he was baboon. Okay. Here you go. Some games are not meant to be. But for a third game, it is going to be very, very good. Um... Very good to show this for you, right? How the things are looking like. And sometimes uh, it doesn't matter. You are playing with the best tank in the world of tanks. Uh, or very good tank for a certain thing. If enemies are not making mistakes towards you, you cannot change absolutely anything about it. So, yep, it happens. Okay, guys. Now looking into the score. Third game. 1.3 thousand damage. 400 assisting damage. Definitely a stinker game. We are somewhere in the middle by experience. We are in the middle by the damage. This is as much as we are going to do, and we are, uh, and we gained a bit of the uh, credits as well, which is nice. Let's see the score after three games. So, fellas, now the score after three games is... First two games were very, very good, and last game was kind of kaku, but still, nevertheless, 33% win ratio. Pretty much 4,000 damage and 400 assisting damage. This is a great uh, session. It is very, very, very good session, fellas. I'm feeling proud of it. And I think we made the things work pretty uh, well. So here you go. This is Ergashem Love. Fellas, if you never played with this tank, I would highly recommend to do so. And remember, if you want to show some love for us, remember to leave one of those. It always helps for, for algorithm. Thank you. Take care and see you next time. Skill is out for today. Peace.